Hey everyone, this is Lucas, and today I have a really, really exciting platform for you. So, you may notice this is a playground and an Xcode, and you can code Swift in this. So, you can import all your frameworks or libraries. You can really use everything about the Swift language. Of course, it's the Xcode environment. But what if you are no Mac user, or what is if you can't use Xcode right now and you may want to code Swift or you want to learn Swift or whatever. Well, there is a solution to that and it's actually a really, really cool project and it's called the IBM Swift Sandbox and it looks like this. So if you compare it to the, well, to the normal play playground in Xcode, it actually is the exact same. You have your printed stuff here and you have your code inside of here. The difference to the playground in Xcode here is that you have to print stuff using print. You can't, well, just code and it's on the right side. No, but you have to really do the print thing. But apart from this, the user interface is really, really easy to understand. And if you want to learn Swift, you can do that here. And if you know the language, you can just code inside of here as well. So. Um, here you have the share code icon and when you click that you can get the link of your project or playground, I call this a playground, and you can share it on Facebook and or Twitter or as I said just grab the URL and paste it somewhere. Then you have the settings or you can choose between two themes right now, dark and light. The light one is really cool but it's too light in my opinion so I'm gonna go for the dark one and you have autosave which says well of course, you can just save stuff without saving it yourself. So then you have the execute button, which will actually execute your program or script, whatever you want to call this here now. And then we have the clear code icon and the source code icon. So the clear code icon is obvious and the source code, well, here you can see some samples and in drafts, you can see your autosave stuff. And for the execution, you can hit command and, uh, command or command and S or control and S. So if you're on Mac, you can do both. If you're not on Mac, just do control and S and you're all set. So we can now try to do some stuff. So by the way, you can do import and foundation and stuff like that. But we would just want to figure out how Swift works inside of here or how it feels like. So we're gonna write a little algorithm. Uh, we're gonna write a little algorithm, which looks like this: average temperature, and this is gonna accept. And here's something we can already prove that it is Swift. Here we're gonna say temperature, temperatures, and then we're gonna say temp of type an array of ints. So. We're going to get an end out of that as well. So here you see we have this calling name. So if you call a function, you will have to put it inside of here, which is really, really useful because if we just have, if we want to use like ready-made functions, if we want to create our own library or something, this is easier to understand for people. But in code, you pretty much want to use something short so you, you can do that. So. Now that we have this, we're gonna continue and say um, var number of type int is zero, and normally it's actually uh, normally it actually is a int, and then we're gonna say for i n zero dot to temp dot count minus one, y minus one and y zero. If you have an array, so where you have items in it, the first item is position number zero or is at index number zero that's why we have an i since we're index you can also say peter pan or whatever you want to say but we're going to say i it's shorter and stands for index so zero two temp dot count minus one because the last item as i said is probably everything in the array minus one so if we have five items the fifth item is the fourth one so everything in it minus one so if that makes sense, we're going to say number plus, um, so you can actually say number is number plus, but we're just going to do this, and then temp, and then we're going to just say 
the item in the temp array, so our, well, our parameter, and then i, because this is the position we want to have, and it's going through this till the really last item here. And at the end, we want to return the, temp uh, the number now, and then divide it by the temperatures in this count. And we're done. And now we want to, let's create a unsaved, and we're going to say, I don't know, 20, 30, or no, that's not right, 23, 25, 21, 22, something like that. And now we have that, we can print the function out by average temperature. And the sad thing now is that here it should actually say here's temperatures, which it doesn't, but we can do that. And then insert our uh, we can insert our numbers and we get them out. 22 is the average now, and our algorithm works. So this is Swift inside of the IBM Swift sandbox, which is I guess the first big project or the not really big, but um, it's the first thing that I like that IBM and Apple do together since they are partners now, which is something that Steve Jobs fanatics probably don't really like. But that is, yeah, so I'm out. We're going to see us in the next video. Bye.